Hello, this is Eric with Eric's Gear, and I just made a video about how to replace the blade on a bandsaw. And I ran into a little bit of trouble, but I figured it out. So I'm going to show you on the Shopsmith how to make some adjustments that was causing me issues. So let's get to it. One of the issues was that the uh, blade kept falling out of the blade guide here as well as up here. So what I finally figured out is that actually over here, over by the tensioner, there's this little tiny nub. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, uh, but there's this little tiny nub that I didn't have this tightened up enough. And so this thing was causing the blade to move forward and falling off the wheel here. So I went and found four millimeter um, hex key Allen wrench and that just fits right in the end there. And now I can go ahead and make my adjustments here. So that helped a lot. I also found that on the back side, so this guide here has this adjustment knob right here. So by moving that, it moves your guide. So as you get thicker and thinner blades, you can adjust these to however thick they need to be. And so you can see that is adjusting where that blade guide is on the blade itself. And similarly on the bottom one, it's a little bit more tricky to get to. And let's see if I can get a good shot of that. So, looks like I don't have any light down there, but, um, where is it? Uh, So right there, that is your same adjustment, and you move that around, and that adjusts where your blade guide is. So I don't know officially where it should be, but that looks pretty good to me. You don't want it on the teeth, and you don't want it so that as it's pushing in, that blade guide rubs on the teeth either. So, just a little bit back from the blades, now, or from the teeth. Now, the blade should be riding on bearings like that, and uh, which uh, now that I've tightened it up, it does ride on this bearing here very closely in the right spot. So that is the adjustments for this. So I can just tighten that up a little bit more because I tightened, untight, removed the tension uh, earlier. So now, as I pass this around, the blade stays on like it should. Hopefully I wasn't just showing you the ceiling there because uh, I wasn't paying attention. There we go. And now I can go ahead and button this up for real. So, what I didn't show you earlier is how to take the blade off. And that's really just taking the tension off and taking the plate out here and just undoing everything that I showed you in the other video. So not that bad. And, um, when I took it off of this one, the blade had busted right at the weld, so it just was nice and free and uh, easy to take off. So that's how you do it with a shopsmith. Uh, like I said <coughs> in the other video, shopsmith <coughs> seemed to have um, swallowed some dust, sawdust. Um, sorry about that. So the adjustments here are very similar to what you'll see on other uh, uh, bandsaws. Sometimes these 
little um, bearings will also have adjustments, but not always. Uh, some will have a nice thumb screw like this did, not always. So you'll just have to look at what your um, uh, instruction manual says. I know most of us don't uh, use instruction manuals, but uh, technically you're looking at one right now if you're watching this video. So, um, yeah, that's all there is to it. It's a little bit finicky at times, and you won't know until you turn it on. And you should definitely not turn it on or have it even unplug uh, have it plugged in while you have the face of it off like this this is not safe so you have to be as safe as possible which means unplugged and uh, the power switch off and if you can even do a lockout tag out but that's not possible right now I don't have the uh, lockbox or anything to put the cord into so I'm just leaving it uh, laid out, uh, the cord wrapped around something that I have in sight and nobody's around me so I know nobody is going to mess with it. So uh, hopefully you learned something today and um, hopefully it's not too far off from what your bandsaw is like. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys around.